waiting for a signal. Is Marty coming or not? Oh, I'm here. Are you okay? Fine. I don't intend to give you this. Just two words away from forever. I love you. Dylan. proud to be here with you, Marty. Thank you. And, and I think you know that, well, I hope you feel that your parents are here with you in spirit. And I know they, they wish you and Dylan a, a very happy life together. <laughs> okay, everybody. This is it. Are you girls ready? Yeah. Allie, you ready? Uh-huh. All right, everybody, into position. We're on. She may love you, but she doesn't have the guts to be with you. She never will. Rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we thank you with all our hearts that we are here today celebrating the gifts of your life and your love. Yesterday, many of us came far too close to the kind of terror and violence that we find hardest to understand. We are here today by your mercy alone. And this joyous occasion has all the more meaning for it. Amen. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of God. 
to witness and to bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God at the creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between God and his church. And Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind was intended by God for their mutual joy, for the love and comfort they give one another in adversity and prosperity, and when it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and the love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently and deliberately and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Dylan and Margaret now come to be joined. If there is any among you who know of just cause why they may not be lawfully married, speak now or else forever hold your peace. Dylan, do you take this woman to be your wife? To live with her in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Margaret, do you take this man to be your husband? To live together in the covenant of marriage, will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Bless, O oh Lord, these rings to be a sign of the bond between this man and this woman through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Margaret, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What did you expect? Her whole life has been guided by fear. Some people, they see what they want and they go for it at the risk of losing everything. People like us, Patrick. Don't I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. People like Marty, they need to feel safe. They want to feel protected and secure, but Patrick, that is not me, and that is not me either. Let Marty, let her have her safety. We need more. We want more. Now that Dylan and Margaret have bound themselves to each other by solemn vows, the joining of hands, and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder.
that's it. No. 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 I don't care if he's a hero. He should not have been there. Jesse, it's over. It's done. He left. The service went on. He was there for one reason, Andrew, to cause trouble. Now somebody should deal with Cassie. I, I think Marty did deal. Then why did he? Why did he leave before the ceremony began? Why did he? Why did he stick wait, around? Wait a minute, Cassie. Were you telling me that Patrick was there before the ceremony? Dylan, I'm so I sorry. I want to tell you. I wanted to wait because I didn't want to upset you. Uh, Patrick came by. When um, I was getting ready for the ceremony, he said he needed to talk to me. Uh, you know what? Somebody needs to take that guy out behind the woodshed and teach him a lesson. I mean... I was very direct with him. I told him I knew what I was doing. I knew what I wanted. I wanted to be Mrs. Dylan Moody, and now I am. All right. I did, uh, this, it still doesn't explain to me why he showed up and, and why he came into the church. I mean, frankly, Dylan, I think that he needed to see Marty say her vows. Well, I think Andrew's right. It's probably a very good thing that he heard you two declare your love for each other. He may have been hurt, but at least he can no longer deny the truth. Well, you know what? I don't care if he's hurt or not. The next time I see that guy, I'll meet You know, I think maybe we've wasted enough time on Patrick and why he was there. No question about that. Well, from what I could see, he has Blair to keep him company. Well, I think what we should be talking about is the wedding, especially that part where the handsome doctor gave the bride away. <laughs> Excuse me, I think it's about time that we propose a toast to the beautiful bride. Here, here, here. Oh, I'll drink yeah. to that. Here, here, here. Oh. Uh. Here we go. Woo. Ah, Marty. 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 Mm. Well, I have to think the most beautiful part of this day was all of you. You have truly become the family I never had, my friends. Oh, we'll all drink to that, darling. <laughs> oh. And <clears throat> to my husband, yeah. who happens to be the finest man I know, oh. and the sexiest and the <laughs> sweetest. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and in case I forgot, the man who's made me the happiest woman alive. Oh. Well, I'll resist the urge to say I told you so. Good. Because I still think you're wrong. She loves Bill, and nobody doubts that but you. Mm -hmm. And Patrick Thornhart. You heard Vicky. She just can't face the fact that she loves him. Yeah, maybe he can't face the fact because she won't stop leading him on. And just look at her. She's so in love with her husband. Mm -hmm. So why did she hide Patrick at her house? Well, what was she supposed to do? Just let him bleed to death? Well, look, I'm just saying. It's all convenient that, that she helps Patrick on the night of her wedding rehearsal, but nobody knows about it, especially Dylan. Well, why would she tell him and get him upset for no reason? No reason. Oh, wasn't it a lovely ceremony? Yeah. Great. <clears throat> just great. What? Andy? What did I say? Nothing. Yes, it was, lovely Carlotta. Uh, look this way, please. Job. Oh, as usual. Blair did her best to try and ruin everything, as usual. Um, uh, Kathy, come on. You saw her standing in the back of the church. Don't tell me she wasn't behind Patrick trying to rush the wedding. Gina, I know that you're no fan of Blair's, but she's gotten past blaming Marty for what happened to Todd. Who's there? She did. 
At the rehearsal dinner, two Marty and Dylan. <laughs> and you believe her? Yes. What if your cousin was on the level? Why was she at the wedding today? She's up to something, that's why. I also want you If you do, I do. Come on. <laughs> You're good, Tiger. Watch your dress. Watch your dress. Hey, Katie. All right. Get out of there. Ladies, Max. Round them up. Round them up. Yeah. Come on, Butterfingers. Hit it. You might get lucky. Oh, no thanks, Coach. I'm an ineligible receiver. I know when something's rigged. No, no, no. I just threw it up for grabs. But I must admit, I'm glad that Andy caught it. Because, you know, maybe someday. Wow. It's today that counts. And, well, let me ask you, how does it feel being Mrs. Dylan Moody anyway? Uh, you know, so far, so good. What? <laughs> no. I love it. In fact, I was thinking, why don't we uh, sneak out of here a little early? Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. What, will we get... Two hours before we have to catch a flight. I know. Mm. 